Pokemon Lois here, and I'm going to show you how to do remote raids in Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Remote raids and remote raid passes were created in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, and this feature has since been popular with a remote pass, you can do raids anywhere, anytime without leaving work, home, etc. and anywhere in the world too. This is also useful for say, you want to get the other members of the Lake Trio from Sino. You have to be invited by friends in other parts of the world to do international raids. When doing a remote raid, if invited, your Pokemon Mon locator will blink orange, and if you have in-game notices on, you'll be invited by a friend that says you've been invited to a raid. You have the option to decline any raids. If you are starting a raid, it will say use a remote raid pass when you click on gyms with raids in progress. Of course, Doing these raids is no different than doing normal in-person or EX raids, which the latter, as of this recording, has been suspended in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic, but will return someday. If you want more information on doing normal or EX raids, I will post links to my previous videos in the description below. Now, the colors of a remote raid pass are blue and pink. And like with premium passes, they cost the same and can be bought in the in-game store. Unlike those passes, you can only carry up to five remote raid passes with you. Also, the downside to doing remote raids is that you do less damage when raiding in battles. And of course, like with the other types of raids I mentioned, you can also back out and your pass will be used up until you have done the battle or failed to do so. The raid I did for this example was a Lugia raid. I didn't catch it nor got a shiny from it. Thanks for watching everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure! Also, when heading out, wear masks in public indoor settings or outdoors depending on your locale. Practice social distancing. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Wash your hands. Most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.